Hi, Mark here. In this lesson, we're going to orchestrate single strokes around the kit in a couple of different ways. Um, drummers are probably most familiar with playing this way around the kit, playing fills and whatnot down the toms. So I want to give you an exercise going down the toms, but also going up the toms, leading with the left. Uh, this is a good exercise to get to know your kit. And you can do this with any size kit. It doesn't have to have four toms. You can have two or even one. Uh, so what I'm going to do is start with the right and go down playing two strokes on each drum, single strokes. Okay, then I'm going to play an extra stroke with the right. And I'm going to come back up leading with the left. And play an extra stroke with the left. So the extra stroke enables me to flip it around so I can go down and go back up the kit. So here it is very slowly. Now, if you have a four-piece kit, I'll just pretend this floor tom doesn't exist. Or let's say I don't have this second mounted tom. I just have two toms. Now, if you want to throw something else in, you could throw in hi-hat and perhaps a cowbell on the way down. So no matter how <clears throat> big your set is, you could do this using any part of your set. Just the drums, incorporating percussion, cymbals, whatever you want. You can, uh, you can even throw a bass drum into it. Now you can also incorporate the bass drum in both grooving and soloing using single strokes. So what I'm going to do is start very simple. This is going to be right hand, right foot. Now, uh, when you play this on floor tom, especially a low tuned floor tom and bass drum, it almost gives the effect of two bass drums. Sounds like this. Now, the important thing with that is to get the timing just right so it sounds very even. Because if it sounds like it's not going to sound right. It has to sound like between the two limbs. So, once you get that, you can start to go around the set with it. becomes quite a challenge when you're trying to get from one place to another quickly. And uh, you can also do it on the left, either by using a left uh, double bass pedal, double pedal, or the hi-hat. So let's see what it sounds like with the snare and hi-hat. Okay, now I'll use the left double bass pedal. Okay, so these are all exercises that are very useful and can be applied musically into grooves. So let me go back to the right hand, right foot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play some strokes on the floor tom and I'm going to play a backbeat on the snare. And then I'm going to add on a hi-hat. Well, I'm playing this open-handed because the floor tom's way over here. I don't want to cross over or under. Okay, so... So let's start with a uh, very basic 16th note groove. One E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a. So the hand is going to play one and two and one. 
And of course, the bass drum's playing all upbeats, the E's and the ands, the E's and the us. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Now we add the hi-hat. Okay, so you can have some fun with it. You can also do uh, a triplet combination. So this is one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Okay, so when you do this, be sure that you're hitting the center of each drum. That's the tricky part because you don't want to get a, a sound near the edge that you don't mean to play. So if you want a big, fat sound, go for the center, especially in the floor tom because uh, you want to match the sound of the bass drum. Okay, now uh, you can, so far we've played uh, a 16th note feel a triplet feel with a halftime backbeat on three. Now I'm going to play the same thing, but 30 second notes with a backbeat on three. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four. I guess I'm playing 16th notes. Okay, so if you were co to consider the snare two and four, and this would be eighth notes, then you'd be playing 30 seconds. Okay, so it just depends on how you write it and how you feel it. Now, um, you can also go up and down the toms with that right hand, and you can get some pretty interesting creative things happening, like this. So all I did was go up the four toms, hit the snare, and go back down. Okay. Now, on the other side, don't want to neglect the left. Um, we had this combination between the snare and the hi-hat. You could incorporate that into swing. One, two, three, four. And you could also start with a hi hat. I started with a snare that time. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's one way you can do it. Uh, there's also the idea that you can play a unison with both hands and then play one or both limbs under that. So it would be sort of double single strokes in a way. So let's, uh, a basic example of this would be to play the snare and the floor tom at the same time and then play both feet at the same time. So. Okay, that's a little tricky, especially when you get it fast. Um, you can do that with just one foot and both hands. So let's do it with the bass drum instead of the hi-hat. Or two toms. And uh, for the hi-hat, you can play cymbal and snare and let that go between the hi-hat.
So if I'm playing uh, kind of a fast swing pattern, I'm going to apply that this way. Okay, sometimes I even do that in samba, and uh, what I do is I'll play the ostinato on the bass drum, and then I'll play eighth notes on the beat. So the eighth notes will actually be on the beat, and then the sticks will be on the upbeats, the E's and the U's. So it sounds like this. I wouldn't do that for the whole tune, but that's something you can throw in once in a while and sounds good. Okay, now uh, that's a good place to start for single strokes because you have some exercises, you have some phrases that you can throw in, and you have some actual grooves. So have fun with that, and we'll see you on the next one.